Why would you give your daughter a gun? She just, that girl shot my, that girl cold hearted. A, a Florida mother is going to prison after her 10 year old daughter shot and killed the woman her mom was fighting with. We're going to take a deep dive into Lucretia Isaac's case, including body cam footage, the arrest affidavit, and what family members of the victim had to say at sentencing. Welcome to Sidebar, presented by Law and Crime. I'm Jesse Weber. I want you to picture this Memorial Day weekend, 2022, Orlando, Florida. There are people in an apartment complex neighborhood. They're having a barbecue. One of the women manning the grill, LaShun Rogers, ends up getting into a verbal altercation with another woman named Lucretia Isaac. Now, reporting indicates that there was seemingly bad blood between them. This might have all been, by the way, over social media, of all things. So what happens? Well, the confrontation eventually turned physical, with both women apparently landing blows. And now it's not entirely clear whether the physical fighting was continuing or whether this had just reverted back to each throwing insults at one another. But what happens? Isaac's 10-year-old daughter allegedly took a handgun out of her mother's bag, aimed it at LaShun, and then fired a shot. In fact, the Orlando PD said witnesses had told them that this little girl loaded the magazine into the gun, loaded around into the chamber, and then opened fire. Shot the gun. Crazy. EMTs, they rushed LaShawn, who went by the nickname Bone, to a hospital, but she later died. According to the arrest affidavit, witnesses told police that, quote, after the first punch was thrown, the victim retaliated and punched Isaac. At this time, Torado stepped in to break up the fight. Someone grabbed Rogers and they started walking back towards their apartment while both she and Isaac continued to verbally argue. The person could not hold on to the victim as she turned around in an attempt to re-engage Isaac. As she turned around, the person observed the child holding a black firearm and discharged one to two shots towards the victim. She immediately fell to the ground and someone attempted to tend to her gunshot wound. While the child was still holding the firearm, she yelled, she shouldn't have hit my mama. According to witnesses, Isaac took the gun from her daughter, actually stood over LaShun's body with it, acting as if she was going to shoot her again. Instead, she and her daughter went inside their apartment. Now, when police got there, they treated Isaac as a barricaded subject. They cordoned off the, the scene with yellow crime scene tape as loved ones tried to comprehend what had just happened. The mom How you give that little girl that How you give your daughter a gun? How you f***ing did that? Yeah. And she just, like yeah, it's she nothing. Just, yeah, she just, just shot her. She should have hit my mama. Your mama hit her first. She did. She hit my, she hit both first. Why would you give your daughter a gun? Eventually, multiple officers approach the apartment door. They ask for Isaac and her daughter to come out. The Orlando Police Department, you're inside. Come out with your hands up. Do it now. The Orlando Police Department, if you're inside, come out with your hands up. Do it now. After officers load Isaac and her daughter into different squad cars, other law enforcement, they stay behind to monitor the scene and they answer any questions they can from family members. Okay. Let me ask you something. Being that a little girl shot my sister, how they going to charge that? How they go? Ma'am, honestly, it's not up to me. I know, but it's I'm saying, how do they charge a case like that? Well, due to her age, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Yeah. But, but I mean, she's still going to be charged, though. Cause well, she did, but if she handed her the bag and the little girl went in the bag and, and, the, and if they're fighting. Well, you need you guys need to be very specific when the Well, I wasn't called. here. I was home. Oh, they called okay. me. Okay. But she was here. That's but why I, I asked her, did you talk to the police? Because yeah. they need to know this. Yeah, because then they. Then they could um, charge the mama. Well. I mean, she gets charged with something for sure. Yeah, I mean, she needs to be that girl. Yeah. You know, I know that girl when she was a little little girl. We all been living out. They all been living out. Right, right. I just moved out of here because th three years ago my grandbaby got shot. I thank the Lord she Sorry, lived. She yeah. okay. She lived. So I moved out because I, I'm nervous and I'm scared. And of then course, I had a yeah. call tonight. Bone dead. Bone dead. I was praying y'all ain't catch me coming from Americana because I hit 90 all over. Then I see the police and now, you know, this gonna be the third niece. We just buried Bawana. 
Sorry. One of the guards, she just got killed not even six months ago. Has it been six months? It ain't been six months to shoot the girl that got shot up in one of the guards. Huh? Yeah, this is, this is a, a, a very terrible situation. Hey, everybody, I just want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of this episode of Sidebar, Upside. So Upside is a free app that gets you cash back on daily essentials like gas, groceries, dining. Now, believe it or not, I do know how to pump my own gas. I don't know if that was controversial or not, but when I pump my own gas, you know what I can use? Upside. Why not get cash back when you fill up your tank, right? And yes, this is actual real cash back. No confusing rewards or points or credits, just actual money you can transfer straight to your bank account. So once you have the app, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. You pay as usual using a debit or credit card. You follow the steps on the app and you get paid. Now, as you just saw me do, you can use Upside at places like, oh, I don't know, Shell, Exxon, Mobile, 7-Eleven, Sunoco, restaurants like Chipotle, Papa John's, Dairy Queen, Domino's, KFC, Taco Bell, and that's just to name a few. Now to find out how much you could earn, click the link in the description to download Upside or scan the QR code on screen and use our promo code SIDEBAR and you'll get an extra 25 cents back on every gallon on your first tank of gas. That's promo code SIDEBAR for an extra 25 cents back on your first gallon of gas. Now, from the time she's placed in the back of a police car until she's taken out of a holding room at the police station, Lucretia Isaac cycles between what seems to be panic and anger. Can you tell my baby at, please? She's right there. You, you've been seeing her this whole time. I didn't see her. Please. I know, but I can't, I can't let you see her, but she's right there. All right? We're taking care of her. All right? Do you want the windows to cracked, or are you getting enough air? I just want to see my baby. I can't. I can't do that right now, okay? But do you have enough AC? Do you want it higher, lower? Hey, just put it lower, please. Lower? Okay. I can't let you see her right now. Huh? Right yeah, she's all right. We're we're letting her have some water and all that. She's not even in handcuffs, okay? She's just sitting back there. We're making sure she's okay. If you look, we're checking up on her every five minutes, okay? She she's okay, all right. She got our attorney. Don't say my child. It's on camera. Nobody. Don't say my child. Nobody. Okay, and I'm telling no you that. I'm telling you that. Y'all even try to talk to her. Okay. Don't say my child unless you got an attorney. We have not said. Okay, I know you ain't saying that yet. Okay. Don't say my child unless you got. Y'all been not saying my child. Period. Do you need to use the restroom? No. Sit down. Make me sit down. Okay. Okay. Sit, Make me sit down. Sit I, I down. want some covers. I'm cold. We are Make working on it. So nah, he sit said, down. He just said, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. They gave him my, my daughter. Sweetheart, like, so. Sweetheart, sweetheart. Y'all. Let me get a Like, y'all, because y'all really like being nasty okay. to me, and I'm not yep, even being yep. nasty to y'all, bro. Like, for okay. real. What can we do to make you relax for a second? I, all I want, I, all I want to do, you. all I want to do is get some and speak to the so, people that's in, in, in so invest, like investigating the situation. Okay. My daughter been gone away from me for two months. I'm mean, like okay. two hours, so like for real. Do me a favor. Take a seat. I will. Like you know. Let me go get everything, but you knocking and hooting and hollering. But they, 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 like that man just told Can me. I have a second. To oh talk? yeah. Like okay. he just. Let me have a second to talk. Type of Let me have a second to talk. Take a seat. I'll go get you a blanket. We'll work on the fine. rest of it, but I need a few minutes. I can't just fine. have you keep knocking and hooting and hollering. That's fine. And guess what? Because that's what and I'm And I got to pull everybody up over here to deal with this. And so that's fine. Because I'm, I'm about all this dealing with me type of Oh, yeah, Take that's what y'all want. I'll give it to y'all. Please. Like, so for real. Deal with all I, I will you. give it to y'all. Thank you. All right, go yeah. take a seat. Go ahead and get what I told you. Get done. Hello. I'm Officer Walls over there in the police department, okay? Were you aware that you're going to be placed under arrest and transported to Orange County? Mm hmm Okay. Uh, I had to get the paper for, paperwork for it. Uh, I forgot already, but I have the form for you. I'll be able to explain that for you. Okay? Are you able to stand up for me? Okay. Then just put your hands behind your back. Uh, just them together. I'm not investigating anything on that. I'm simply transporting you. Right now, she's with the Child Protective Services. 
Right now, no. They will reach out and make contact with family. So is she being charged with something, or is she just? I I don't know, hun. I'm 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 not. Like I said, I explained earlier. I'm just here to help out. Sorry. The CPT is basically it's, it's like a DCF thing. So as soon as they're done there, she'll be able to call. And they'll she be able to get a hold of anybody. Not there, so that's why they'll be able to get a hold of family. Okay, DCF. They have access to everything, just like everybody else. Does. All right. So before you get in his car, I gotta pat you down real quick. All right. Now, according to the 10 year old, LaShun allegedly hit Isaac with some sort of object, possibly a rock that cut Isaac's head. The arrest affidavit states, quote, she heard Rogers say she will bring her family to jump Isaac. When the child heard this, she said she became angry due to having anger issues. Now, despite witnesses saying the child took the gun out of her mother's backpack or her mother's bag, the child told detectives that her mom's friend was there too, and she was the one with the gun. Quote, the child said she pulled the firearm away from Isaac's friend and aimed it above the victim's head. She stated she shot one time and saw the victim fall down. The child knew she struck the victim in the head and she states she was aware the victim was deceased after the shooting. According to the child, she shot above her mother's head because she was in fear of Isaac being hit. After the shooting, Isaac's friend took the firearm from her, then ran away from the area. The child denied the firearm being inside her residence. Isaac herself has refused to answer any questions, but investigators didn't see any kind of cuts or injuries on her. They also asked if she had any injuries, and Isaac said no. Over the next few days, officers spoke with more witnesses. One person not only saw what happened, but also seemed, seemed to have taken a video on her phone. So just the mom. Right. Okay, they argued. So some lady would, I think she had a new but that. She was like moving, so the daughter was like in the back, like doing like this, unzipping it, and the lady kept moving. So then, like, she put the thing in. It's she the got bottom it from of the gun. Mama, the so the magazine. The yeah. She got in front of her mama. She caught the back and she shot the whole bullet. Fell on the floor. And hit so her she head. actually manipulated the firearm to to load the firearm and get the firearm ready to fire. Is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. And then once she did that, she stepped in front of her mother. Yeah. Her mama. This her mama. This the girl. How long was she standing in front of her mother, pointing the gun at Bone before she fired? Approximately. Like, um, like a little minute. Like they were still arguing. We should put the, the thing in. So we're talking, she, it wasn't like she, she loaded the gun and then she pow, she loaded the like gun. Like she waited for a little minute. And then she was minute. standing here like this? She waited for a little minute. And then she fired? She did, she fired, yeah. So she was standing there aiming at this woman the whole uh -huh. time for a little minute. And Bone was still arguing. And then when Bone like She's still pointing the gun at her. Yeah, then when Bone kind of realized it was it, like the gun, she stopped talking. It was too late, like she couldn't did, do nothing. Did the mo when she had that gun up... Did the mom... No, the mom was just standing right there. Just standing right there. So she's standing there for a little minute pointing the gun at this woman and the mother. Just standing right there. Just standing right, right there. Just standing right there. Still arguing. Trying the to argue. video that you shot on your... Uh, that's on your... That was on your phone. The video that you shot... Did you start videotaping a little bit after the girl was pointing the gun at her? No, it was before. I thought it was for the fight because it looked like it was for the fight. So I, I don't know. Like, I just record it. Yeah. I would just record it. I didn't okay. know she was going to be shooting at Right, right, right. So now you fast forward to May of 2024, two years later, Lucretia Isaac entered a plea of no contest on the charges of manslaughter and culpable negligence by storing or leaving a loaded firearm within reach of a minor. She had faced a possible 15 year prison sentence, but took a plea deal that was offered by prosecutors and Isaac was sentenced officially on June 21st. As to count one, the court will adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to five years in the Department of Corrections, followed by three years of probation and you are to undertake a four hour parenting class as a condition of probation. Isaac teared up as LaShun's family members gave their victim impact statements. I don't care the amount of years that was given or could have been given. Time could never replace what was taken from us. Cresha, my whole world just fell apart when you and your daughter committed this senseless act. God is the final judge. Outside the courthouse, more family members spoke with local media outlets saying they're not happy with this five-year sentence. No justice, nothing being done, nothing. Five years. Five years, that's it, to take a life. And as for Isaac's daughter, who is now 12 years old, she is still reportedly in juvenile detention, but the state attorney's office said they wouldn't comment on a case involving a minor. That's all we have for you right now here on Sidebar. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us. As always, please subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Jesse Weber. I'll speak to you next time.